But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, David. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just... <laughs> just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. <laughs> We'd be... You'd be making history. And you'll be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter. Who took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? Contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here, so let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on.
now use TRS. TRS now available. Okay, good work. Great pass. Gap to your teammate behind is 13.9 seconds.
approaching the pit window and you're going to be on mediums. Windows open, so let's box this lap, box this lap. Go, go, go. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. OK, you've just started the final lap of the race. Final lap.
It's Aidan Jackson propping up Connorsport here today. But the big news off the track is the speculation about this team whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup. Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, the mid-season signing will get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. Well, Cotter Sport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So, just tell me, what is it like for you today? Yeah, uh, not so long ago, my teammate was Devon, and um, we had a plan sorted out for the rest of the season. Uh, now it's Noah, and uh, for the last couple of races, uh, suddenly nobody's quite sure what the situation is. I've never had to drive in this, this, this situation before, so it's all pretty strange, but you do what you can. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? I honestly never thought I'd say this, but I, I do miss him. He brought a lot of energy to the team, and it feels odd not to have him around right now. For the record, I'm not saying I like him. <laughs> He'd never let me hear the end of it. But he's missed at Connorsport, that's for sure. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connorsport be looking for a new driver, do you think? It's not for me to say, but I think it could be a real opportunity for the team to make an exciting signing. Uh, there's a lot of talent out there hungry for a shot in F1, and Connorsport could find themselves in the perfect position to offer them one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Casper, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing major, really. Um... To be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Oh. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team. And, uh, well, I won't lie to you, it, it's not been easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, but you really stepped up. It's good for me to know that I've got someone like you to rely on. Always. Yeah. Look, Aiden, I'll warn you, Things may not get any easier, at least not for a while, but, um... Well, we've got something in the pipeline. A potential new driver, and a damn good one. Who is it? <laughs> I can't say. Not, not yet. It's a bit of a gamble, but if they agree, we could have something special. Nice. And, um... How is Devon? Fine. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, Davidoff has closed the door on that one, but... Yeah, he tells me Devon is in a good place, though. Oh, that's good, that's good. Just you know, keep doing what you're doing, okay? And now, just get out of here. Of course. I'll catch you later. <laughs>